We have in the past covered the astonishing ancient high technology still present within the gas-filled lens of Nineveh. Along with this proof of an ancient civilization's knowledge of glass blowing and convex lens making, there is seemingly many more examples that have quietly been found, studied, and pushed into the archives of museums worldwide. In particular, those found within the ancient sites upon Crete. Although many a sleuth has discovered this fact and have subsequently investigated these claims and indeed proofs of an ancient civilization's astute awareness and past ability at creating these perplexing reading lenses, lenses of a surprisingly high quality, the first exposure of this truth came from a most unlikely of sources. That being the July issue of the British Journal of Physiological Optics in 1930, which contained a communication from a Mr. H. L. Taylor in, quote, The Origin and Development of Lenses in Ancient Times, which ascribes the development of the lenses to the Cretans of 1800 BC. His examination of the museums of the Eastern Mediterranean has led him to the conclusion that ivory and steatite, the materials used for beads prior to 2000 BC, later replaced with rock crystals, onyx, agate, and cornelian. The discovery of the magnification produced by a bead of rock crystal, he believes, led to the production of lens-shaped beads and eventually of lenses such as those of the Royal Gaming Board found in the palace at Knossos, the best of which now rest within the archives of the Museum Candia within Crete. Their magnification ability has been recorded at between 5 and 8 diopters and are plano-convex in shape. These quality lenses were then transported out of the area to the mainland, including Troy, Tyre, Nineveh, and the United Kingdom." End quote. However, any explanation as to how these ancient artifacts were indeed created remains unknown or indeed untold, the closest anyone dare tread is claiming they are of natural rock crystal origins and developed accidentally. Regardless, their existence is undeniably highly compelling.